Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Darkest Dungeon. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy, very, very happy that you chose to join me today for what is, I assure you, the end of the Brigand 16 Pounder. I assure you of that. It is the end forever. 90% chance to hit. That is not a kill. We have a pretty decent attack back here because that's going to kill him. 83% chance to. Uh, for sure. And uh, over here, it's going it's to do a little bit of damage. Okay. As the fiend falls, a faint Thank you. Blossoms. Thank you very much. Oh, no, this is not a problem. This is not a problem. What has just happened? Uh, many things are, are just, it, it's okay, it's all good. Uh, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna mark this guy so I can do that. At least that's my hope anyway. Let's see what happens. This might be the start of death for everybody. Uh, let's also do... I'm not gonna be able to blight this guy. Let's actually see. So we have 140 over there, and then we have a 40 and a 50. So it's, it, it isn't, it isn't possible. That will, however... Hmm... Armor piercing for that. That's nice. Should I attack you? What do you have? Minus dodge. That's not good. Let's fix that. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this for her. I think that's gonna be a good thing at the beginning. Uh, and now the, no bad things are gonna happen here. As I was saying before, that's a good thing right there. Reinforcements, but that's not a problem. Okay, and uh, everything is gonna be fine. So, you are going to be shot, 90% chance to hit, be hit, unfortunately it wasn't a kill, but this is a kill, thank you very much. Okay. And then, it's them, their time, it's that guy's time, it's fine. Uh, and that was actually a pretty good result right there, uh, I'm not unhappy about that. Uh, she does need a little bit of, uh, of things, but I think it is time for us to do this. Uh, and, uh, uh, yeah, there it is, and now I can attack you for a fair bit of damage. Pretty good. She's gonna be moved forward in a little bit. Let's see what we can do over here. Dodges? No. Ears. It is fine. Blurred vision. It is okay. The end approaches. So this guy is gonna need a little bit of an, an incentive there, but not a not a terrible thing. Apart from uh, she needs to be moved forward. It is true. Okay. 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 Uh, unfortunately, you can't actually attack that guy over there. But we, we eat, eat, well, we could actually if we attacked with this, but that's not really what I want. Uh, so I'm gonna try and kill you, and I think that is a good thing. Is okay. Maintain the offensive. And why is it a good thing, you might ask? Well, for a couple of reasons. I'm not gonna attack you, I'm gonna try and kill you. For a couple of reasons, because now he's gonna be able to get a heal off right there. Hopefully, she doesn't get hit. Uppercut slice, that is definitely gonna hit, of course, and it's gonna make him. Not lead, which is quite interesting and, and enjoyable, actually. And I roll a 12, which is a, a reasonable, if slightly annoying, uh, result there. Okay, with a little bit of damage to top it up. Or top it up, or top it off, I don't know. You are dead, and uh, this is actually a good uh, result here, I would say. Uh, let's see what I can do here. Still haven't dealt maximum damage there. That is quite unfortunate, actually. Uh, we have... Not enough damage. Well, we could have actually killed him with that, but I'm gonna run with this. Give them no quarter. Uh, and that was reasonable, and you are gonna die on your own, so I'm happy with that. And we're gonna go with now normal attacks, which should allow us to be amazing and not die and be annoyed at this wall affair. Uh, so I will mark you again with this, uh, because I think. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Uh, what have I done? What have I done? Why didn't I? Sorry, I don't have bandages. Okay, it's all fine. Yeah, so you're gonna need to kill this guy. Unfortunately, that's not gonna work at all. Uh, so that is quite unfortunate, actually, because that means she needs to attack there. Uh, hmm. It's got a problem right there. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I'm still gonna kill her. But because I'm not gonna risk her being the last one. Oh nice dodge, okay, that's that's okay. Yeah, but that was that was gonna be just terrible. Um if if we didn't if we didn't do that. Because I am not gonna let Okay. That's two reinforcements, quite unfortunate. 
Uh, we do have a critical, which is really nice, actually. Okay. Okay, and then, unfortunately, we don't have AoE. We actually do have an AoE right there, so hopefully she goes... Uh, are we gonna risk it? I mean, honestly, at this point, we really should risk it. Uh, but for my luck, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be the, the death of everybody. Oh, lovely. Seventy-nine. Confidence oh, oh, surges oh, oh. as the enemy crumbles. Oh my God! A shank for Fonzie. Oh more man, man. Okay. Okay. I can't. I can't have that happen a lot. Uh, let's see. Ugh. Uh. I can't really do much over there. Finally, a one-shot hit. Finally. Uh, and you're gonna focus on healing, because this is just not going too well. Um. You're gonna heal him. Oh, crap. At least he doesn't bleed. Oh, that was... That might have saved him. It did. It the did. will to fight falters. Uh, okay. So he needs. Attack the cannon. Very little damage. Uh, let's move her forward with that. We are really bad in terms of healing, and I think I neglected that. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, and I, can, I, 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 need, I, I can't neglect it anymore. I can't, I can't neglect it anymore. Okay, that's a block. He's the, the worst one over here. Uh, that's actually quite good. A decisive pummeling. Um, the problem here... Oh, he goes for her. That's actually quite good as well. Unless she moves backwards, and she doesn't. Uh, so I am gonna need to go for the cannon again. That actually was a pretty serious amount of damage right there. So I'm happy with that. And uh, the fact that they're all blighted also helps. Um, I can pull you forward. That's not necessarily the best thing to do. But it is the way for me to do damage to you, so I will go with it. Um, and then I can actually kill you like this. And if you don't bleed, then you do. That is actually very good. Then you please... Thank you. Thank you very nice. I sometimes say that, never mind, it's a reference to something you won't understand, don't worry. Um, and it's a little bit of a shank there, and a dodge, I, I, I enjoy that, I enjoy that quite a lot. Uh, and then a blanket fire, which is going to be a bit of a problem at the front, but fortunately only dealt one damage, and I'm quite okay with that. Uh, now, you're all going to die, which is actually really awesome. The problem here is attacking you, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, because... A death by inches. That's pretty awesome, actually. Okay. Now, I need this. Continually nice unscored. critical. Very Destroy nice critical, actually. Them all. Uh, and then if I do this, it is... If I hit him... Oh, yeah. Okay, that was that was very nice. The slow death. That was very nice. Unforeseen, unforgiving. Okay, okay, that was very foreseen, and uh, I, I forgive. I forgive everything. The, the game, the game sent my way. Just reinforce one. Thank you. Just, well, at least it's not three. So that's, that's kind of okay. Uh, so I, I'm not gonna attack you. I'm gonna reinforce. Seriously, that guy. Okay, it's all good. Thank of fire. Some pretty cool. injury. That is okay. This guy's still Palpable. marked. Uh, I'm gonna really need to kill you. That is very good, actually. And I'm not gonna bother with you, because I can't really... I mean, actually, she does have... Uh, that was maximum damage, that's very nice. She does have a pierce uh, that basically allows her to do some nice stuff. This moves her forward, so that's actually gonna be nice. Middle of the road damage, I'm fine with that. Okay. Now we're getting to the really nasty stuff. If we fo... Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Obliterated. Okay, now that's good. Ish. Um I need to I need to go for the cannon. We're still gonna need to deal with the ads, I'm sure. But I need to go for the cannon here. Uh so who's the dodgiest of you? 
interestingly enough, it's him. Okay, a little bit of a blanket fire. That was reasonable. That was okay. And now, he's not dead yet, which is fantastic. That was actually quite well, quite good. And now, we can kill this cannon. The Ooh, that was very good. Quakes. I like that. It, it, it's normal that it quakes. It's a huge machine. Okay. And now, everybody attacks the cannon. Well, I just need this. The brigands are undone. <sighs> Our family crest is once again a symbol of strength. Now, you might have realized I could not have promised you before that this was the last one. I could not have promised you. I don't know what this guy does, uh, but I'm going to do this. Uh, I could not have promised you that. That 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 that's not a promise. I couldn't repeat. I it's it's how it is. Unnerved, unbalanced. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just uh. Yeah. Okay. You're the worst over here. Although I don't know what you're gonna do. Oh. Okay. Well. Oh my God. What is my luck? How how did I do that? Okay. 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 <gasps> Oh, sweet, sweet luck, and a shot to your face. There it is. Okay, we got this. We freaking got this. Oh. And now we have we have the terrible things that are to come. A trifling I don't need victory. You. Oh, I don't need but these either. Nonetheless. But I'll take them. I'll take them. Continue adventuring, I think. Was there something else? Oh, there was something. Okay. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh. oh my god. I took a pause in between last episode and this one. I, uh, I made sure I was fresh and prep and prepared. And right now, it's everything is good. Everything is good. It's not a problem. This doesn't do anything. This might. It doesn't. This might. It doesn't. Uh, just go with it. Mm, she gets a little bit stressed. It's fine. We just really need this. Which is good. Okay. Put all of that away. The darkness holds much worse than mere trickery. And, and boogeymen. And get all of that. As the light gains purchase, okay. spirits are lifted. Should I continue? And purpose is made clear. No, I shouldn't. I don't think I should. Um, so close that and say goodbye to this. So we killed this thing at long last, and I got some pretty amazing, pretty amazing item right here for extra damage on range skills, uh, and uh, that terrible thing that I hate. Uh, we got a bunch of gold, and I'm not gonna bother with like looking at things over here because I always check them. Once they get in here, so that was... Once our estate was the envy of this land. Hmm. An excommunicated madman has responded to the growing infestation in kind. Fueled by conviction, he is merciless and applies his trait with extreme prejudice. I thought we... Hmm. Okay. Sure. Uh... I don't really know. Well, we have that guy. That's that's that. Uh, but anyway, let's let's take a look at you guys. So you have the urinal, and that's okay. You have armor tinker, which is totally irrelevant. Uh, so I'm gonna fix you of your bad humors. And we have Chauncey over here. He has no, oh, that's terrible. I hate that one. Uh, Deep soul mania. He likes to drink, which is terrible. Meditator, ruins tacticianer, and healing while camping. That doesn't matter too much. Uh, we have you, Paranorm. Oh, that's terrible as well. What about you? What do you have? Nothing terrible. Okay. Men, men Slayer and some things over there. Actually, I'm gonna get him up here. We got Balanced, uh, Robust, and Rose Scoundrel, Clutch Heater. Extra critical while HP is below certain a certain point. Um, that needs to go. Balanced is actually pretty decent, so I'm gonna get that. And uh, Bottler. I'm gonna get him Men Slayer or Eldritch Slayer. They're basically the same thing, but I'm gonna get them both. Deviant Tastes, Wildphobe, and Gambler. Uh, it's not a lot. Wildphobe is sort of... I suppose it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna keep them in there and now one thing I said before that we are only at 29 out of or 24 out of 29 that actually isn't true because these guys don't count so that's pretty good let's sort this by class and see how we're doing in terms of class and also yeah, unfortunately we are not doing too well uh, everywhere we need we still need a man at arms 
Oh, and you need to be fixed of your uh, red plague. Yeah, right. Oh my god, she just bleeds at you if you blow at her. Uh, so that's pretty good, right there. Uh, do we have? Oh yeah, we can we can now build another another. Um, not you. Shut up. Shut up. Uh, another. Oh yeah, cartographer's camp. I think there's another one as well. So I have seven. One, two, three, four, five. Interesting that we can get more of these than we actually need. Uh, so we have bonfire over here. That's uh, no, that's much better than the the other one. Yeah, soon we'll be able to to build a few others. That's actually pretty awesome. Oh my god. There's actually a pig in there! Um, I suppose that has a name. A piglet? No, I don't know. So, granary? Yeah. So, this one is gonna have to wait. Cartographer's uh, camp. So, the this one and this one are actually gonna be easy. And then we just need this. Uh, so, th there we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. What do we have over here? Do we have anything that I like? No, you don't. Okay, let's see what kind of terrible things we're gonna do. We're gonna go into here. We don't need to do anything else. We could go over there, of course. Uh, but we don't need to go anything anywhere else. So, sort by level. Uh, well, actually, I need to do this, and I'm gonna do these um, off camera eventually. Uh, I'm gonna level them up. I mean, uh, because it's gonna be fine, and it's not gonna be a problem at all. Although I don't have healers, but I can get healers anytime. Well, hopefully, anyway. I have one healer. I th I, did I throw away another one? Anyway, we'll see how that goes. So, who is gonna go in there? Well, Crazed Jack. Are you good to go, Crazed Jack? I think you are. Modit. Uh, Modit is specced in a way that I don't really like to run. This one is good. The bleed skills are nice. And these are just damage dealer. He's just a damage dealer, a versatile damage dealer. Actually, I'm trying to think of what terrible things we get in there. And we got those the Chevaliers. Those are terrible. Um, so, armor piercing would be fantastic to have, actually. But the problem is, eh, well, actually, the Chevaliers are more of a problem. You know what? You know what? I think having Daryl at the front is going to be amazing at that. And we have Flambard, who will be perfectly fine with uh, with things. Is she the only... No, she can't come. Okay, so she won't be perfectly fine. I th Oh, this is sort of by, by that. Okay. Um, so we have Kuya, and we have Brix. Brix can come. No, she can't. Uh, don't we have... Oh. We don't have a healer. Which means you can come. That is terrible. Well, you're going in. You can, you can bring Fez. Fez is okay. He's not the best bleeder that I like to have, but uh, I suppose Lupine Walker is better. Oh, much better. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a this is the team. This is the team right here, guys. Oh yeah. Okay. So sort by level as per usual. Uh, just we check that, which is fine. Make sure everybody is they're fully upgraded. You can see the numbers. And then let's look at their skills. So you have that, which I really like. I'm not going to run with that. Uh, we have some really nice stuff. Bypass stealth. That could be a good thing. It actually does a, a reasonable amount of damage, uh, which is pretty good. And then she has basically movement skills, and I think I like those. So I'm going to go with those like that. Uh, as for you, make sure also that these guys are all in, in good position. Uh, as for you, you have Reign of Sorrows, which is interesting, if not a little bit situational and we have that one just allows him to do the uh, exsanguinate which is nice to have and we have the tyrant who's gonna actually take care of, of stress damage and then he has these uh, or this just in case he needs to come back from the back uh, which is, I suppose it's good and she is actually quite mobile I don't know if he tells her or tells over here how much she can move with her move uh, ability I don't think he does um, so yeah and she has the traditional things so everything is uh, in good order. I think I think we're good for this. I didn't want to go there right now because uh, the infestation level. We didn't have too many guys that were uh, infected, uh, so that's that's the reason. But we are we are uh, steadily gaining, uh, steadily gaining the um, um, the blood. So that's fine. Uh, over here we have some really nice stuff. To be honest, uh, if I want the maximum HP, this one is better. But if I um, damage versus mark, that's some really nice stuff and extra protection as well. So I could run, but yeah. These are really nice because it also removes. It's the. It's just a shame that I don't run blight, with her. I suppose I could do Adler's kiss, and I probably should. So what do I have here? That one bypasses guard, which is nice, but it doesn't. It's a single target. It's the only way for her to attack at the back, and I think that's why 
I was running at uh, I was running it so uh, let's do this uh, it's not the best thing but at least it's gonna allow me to just run her with this and uh, I like it uh, although I could run her with with a lot of dodge which might be more beneficial actually so shut up colonel go back to your previous strategy because uh, you knew what you were doing so I'm gonna run her with dodge I forgot about that to be honest uh, ooh, look at that we have two of these which we definitely don't need so I'll just sell that because we need money we always need to have money because it makes itself uh, then we have uh, so let's see I have well basically we have ooh, ancestral tentacle idol it's got a little thing on top where did I get this it's pretty cool uh, and then we have some of that. I am just gonna run, run with that, and with the this one. So she has a hefty amount of dodge. Now for you, you should have uh, something that I always go with. Extra bleed chance probably is not gonna be an issue. Um, death blow resist is gonna be an issue. So I'm gonna go with these two over here, and hopefully everything is gonna be awesome. Uh, let's see what else for you. Uh, extra accuracy and extra critical is always nice to have. You have an extra stress healed and extra stress taken. Uh, so I'm not really too much of a fan of that. I think we can do something else with you, with some of our new items over here. Um, that could probably work a little bit better. Always very situational. I got a hiccup trying to murder murder myself or murder me. But it's fine, I, I went to that. Uh, ooh, it's a virtue chance. Right, yeah, we could go with this. Extra melee skills, it's not bad for him. Accuracy protection and extra stress. So he's going to take extra stress, and I think I'm okay with that, I suppose. It's not the best. Yeah, extra critical and minus dodge. Minus dodge is a problem, though. So I could run with that. He needs a little bit of accuracy, that's, that's, that's the thing. He doesn't have an accuracy mod. So extra critical and extra accuracy is what I really wanted. Um... I could also run him like this, so I could just stack the bleeds early on. But she actually would benefit more from that. Hmm. Oh yeah, position one, extra damage. I could switch them around and have him run with that. I don't really like it. So I'm gonna go with uh, this. And I'm gonna run with this. Minus dodge. It's gonna be lovely. He's at the back, so eh. It should be okay. Now, for our uh, lovely, lovely Vestal, well, we know who, what exactly she runs with. Uh, and that's going to be this thing. And that's going to be the head that's down here. Somewhere. Somewhere. Right there. Okay. Good. And this is the team that we're going to run. Uh, Venturing will consume one invitation. That's true. I hopefully will get more invitations in there. That's another issue. Uh, that's another. That's a bug over here that you can't reassign that. Look at that. You only, unless you have, I think it counts like the amount of. I don't know. I don't know what he does. Shut up! Don't do stupid things. And we have a lot of money. Just bring everything with you, and everything is gonna be fine. Um, so I need this over here. I need this. Actually, I don't need these. Uh, I need a little bit of blood, maybe. Actually, you know what? I'll just bring one blood. For good measure, and everything is going to be fine. Uh, let's bring a bunch of holy water, because uh, there's a few things where we can use that. That's going to help us a lot. And bandages galore. Just bring many galoshes of, 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 uh, of bandages. I don't need the skeleton key. I think it's very rare where it happens, and uh, we just can't do without it. Uh, and everything else is good. So, I think... Oh, no, wait a minute. Torch? Yes. Let's bring a full stack, because it doesn't matter. So, there we go. Mercifully, the morbid encounter resolved itself in my favor, and I set to work pursuing degeneracy in its most decadent forms. The air pulsed with anticipation as I revealed the unnatural terroir of the house vintage. But my exaltation was cut short as the attending gentry turned upon themselves in an orgy of indescribable frenzy. A single drop of that forbidden tannin gifted me with a dizzying glimpse of the hibernating horror beneath my feet. And in that moment, I understood the terrible truth of the world. I stood reborn, molted by newfound knowledge, my head throbbing to the growing wine of winged vermin come to drink the tainted blood of the darkest dungeon. Well, I had I was watching that with uh, my mouth open, 
because that was pretty awesome. I don't like that they ended it with the darkest dungeon. You've done that already. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. It's bad when it was War Never Changes 5,000 times. It, this is worse. Don't do that. <laughs> Even my untethered imagination okay. does not conceive of what effect the years well, spent submerged in toxic sludge may have had on her heteromorphic flesh. Heteromorphic? You mean multiple forms? She's a polymorph? Okay. Lovely. Just lovely. Just lovely. Lovely. Okay. Well, I'm really hopeful, hopeful that the Countess is going to be well and truly far away from us. Uh, and that she's not going to show up too soon. Because we only have one invitation over here. And we actually didn't get more of it. Which is a shame. Um, we also don't have enough time for the day. Because I, know, I need to go rest. So that's also a little bit of a shame. But and hiccups. I also need to take care of those. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG. And this has been Darkest Dungeon. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, let me know how you felt about that wall of the darkest dungeon at the end. If you agree with me, let me know. If you don't agree with me, let me know as well. I would like to, uh, well, basically I didn't make a very good case for my own thing. I was just semi-serious there. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.